As a team, as a company, and as a brand, you know, a lot of discussions about how can we be true to the heritage of the NSX? You know, NSX is all about pushing into the future and going beyond. We started with a transverse engine based on a mass production product, which actually was similar to the original NSX, transverse engine based on the legend. Uh, but then, by asking ourselves the right questions. Could it be special enough? Is it better to have something that's linked to the brand, a special version of some other engine, or have its own engine? And then the new caveat was the original NSX was not designed originally to go racing. It did go racing, but it was heavily modified to do so. So we, we made that commitment up front. The engine of the NSX, it's created and execute it exclusively for the NSX. You know, the mindset of developing this very special engine is this interesting mixture of pinnacle racing, peak performance, F1, IndyCar, but also this mindset of at service to the driver and human beings. Real performance over a grueling 24 hour race, over 100,000 miles. As a hand-built, American-made supercar, the NSX has made its mark on the world of manufacturing. But a lesser-known story in precision manufacturing takes place just west of PMC at the Anna, Ohio engine plant, 
where precision engineering and hand craftsmanship is the true story of the NSX engine and the people who brought it to life. But it wasn't always a clear path, so we'll have to take you back to the early days of development because the creation of a bespoke, mid-mounted, twin-turbo V6 engine is not at all where this project began. Let's get to the engineering. What is the packaging of this engine? So the packaging is generally about getting the engine as low in the chassis and as close to the driver as possible. That'll give the driver's inputs, steering, brake, throttle, the most immediate and linear response. So the way you achieve that, it's very unusual, 75 degree bank angle. Gives us just enough room to put the turbos underneath, very much linked to F1 heritage, IndyCar heritage. 75 degrees equates to, if you squat down and look at the side of the NSX, the top of the engine, top of the head, as mounted in the chassis, is no taller than the top of the tire. It's truly amazing. We then move on to that immediacy of response by working on not only electric components, but the engine itself, that response, that immediate response to the throttle. It's kind of interesting because, yeah, we can talk about the dry sump. Okay, it's got a dry sump. But the scavenge pumps that are in the dry sump are actually made up of three elements. There's three lobes. And that also is coming from racing. And it's all about having this precise delivery of oil. It's about making it trustworthy. No matter what the temperature is outside, no matter what the track conditions are. So we got packaging, we got response, then linearity. You know, the engine shouldn't be peaky. It should be always available to do what the driver wants to do. If you think about it, performance at the track, race duty is brutal. It's brutal on the whole car, but especially on the powertrain. When you think about the rules, GT3 racing, it's a global series. You know, all you have to have is a mass production based block and head. But the NSX GT3 is the only one that has a bone stock engine. We went racing in 2017, right out of the box, two wins first season. And in 2018, we were able to be even more consistent. Two wins and going into the last race, we were fighting for the championship. And in 2019, we earned this against the best in the world in GTD. I, I look back at it and, and I have even more appreciation for the team and what they conceived of and how they executed. They really conquered all this from the beginning. Isn't it great that the heart of the NSX, the engine, is also the heart of our manufacturing footprint in North America. The Ant Engine Plant uh, first started production in 1985. We went from a true cornfield to this super manufacturing facility. Typically, we build 4,500 engines a day on high volume lines. Uh, we got roughly 3,500 associates here. We're probably gaining on the most experience of any other engine plant. The Anna Engine Plant is uh, our company's largest engine plant in the world. We currently sit at 2.5 million square feet, but the NSX is built in a very small uh, 4,000 square foot facility, so it's, it's a plant within our plant. Each NSX engine is hand built by a master craftsman. Our engines are built in a single zone. It takes roughly five hours to build an NSX engine. There's 547 fasteners in this engine. Each one is started by hand. One master builder basically performs what 150 people do on our typical high volume assembly lines. We leverage more than three decades of assembly experience with our master builders. Each one knows what an engine's supposed to sound like, what it's supposed to feel like, what it's supposed to smell like while they're building it. They get to feel with their own hands any imperfection in the parts, they get to inspect it. If a part is supposed to be rotating, they'll actually rotate it by hand. For example, the piston and conrod, they get to feel that it freely moves before they put that into the engine. It's almost like woodworking. 
All of our tools are tied to our operation system, so every tool has GPS. When we do a torque or a torque and angle, everything is recorded. The builder can't go to the next step without getting confirmation that he's in mid-spec torque within the range before he tightens the next fastener. We use multi-spindle nut runners in three locations in the NSX. Every builder will take his engine to the DC tool. By using the multi-spindle nut runners, we can guarantee that all bolts are tightened, achieve torque and tension at the same time, which is very important to the clearances of our engine. The beauty of an NSX, you can buy it and take it straight to the street and do a launch mode. Because we break the engine in here at Anna. It's not such a difficult procedure, but roughly an hour of break into the engine. Uh, we can eliminate the green friction that you have with the reciprocating components. We actually go no higher than 4,000 RPM. We have another master craftsman who's checking all of the various pressures and temperatures and the turbo, not only at his, his lab table, but also you know, with a stethoscope. He goes to the engine and he's listening for things that would be abnormal while the engine's being broken in. Another unique human craftsman example is in our balancing. The NSX is one of the few supercars where the engine is actually balanced after assembly and after break-in by hand. We actually use the engine oil, we bring it up to temperature, and then we measure the balance on both ends of the engine. We came up with a unique way of using different weighted bolts to accomplish our balance targets. Here in this room, we have a wealth of talent, a wealth of information. We selected the best of the best from our assembly department. We know that the engine's built rock solid, and it's here at the Anna Engine Plant, where the heart of the NSX gets to beat for the very first time. So every day, the NSX's unique twin turbocharged V6 is out there, showing its incredible power to the driver and the almost indestructible reliability to the standard of the world or beyond, but absolutely proven at the track. This is an engine that's truly worthy of the name NSX.